welcome back to another Sims 4 mod review. Today we've got some more mini mods to add into your Sims 4 game, so let's get into it. All right, well the first one is pretty self-explanatory. It's loading screens, but I figured since we're kind of still in fall that these might be cute ones to add into your game. There's two of them, and this is like Cooperdale, like the little town, and then you have one of like the coast, which I thought were really pretty. She does mention to also download the beige plum bob recolor. Thank you to Jay Simming for making these loading screens for your Sims 4 games. So yes, I do love my loading screens so these are definitely very cute if you like to keep your game I guess like seasonal like keep it with the seasons so yes this is a loading screen for you guys to all download all right so we are in game now and the first one I want to show you is an override to the private journal this I do believe you need parenthood for but if we go into build mode here you can see this private journal right here that is from parenthood I'm gonna try and zoom in on this so we can see it and you guys can see the swatches for it but essentially they have this one they also have this flower one as well. They've got a lot of them and I love it because it makes it a little bit more personalized to your Sims and maybe you don't just want the ones that come with Parenthood, you might want an override for it. Now because this is an override for it, it is gonna take away the swatches that the Sims had. So these are gonna be your now swatches for the private journals but honestly i really love them they're very artistic i don't know how to explain it but i just i love them so much i think they're 10 times better than the swatches we have in the sims and at the same time you get to have better swatches for your private journals anyways so these are all the swatches that you get with it and you can use it as a private journal in the sims next up since we're already in build mode you probably saw these l sim world signs for simlish like sayings that we have like slang terms i guess i don't know i need to find a blank wall to put these on so you guys can see i'll, I'll just use this one right here. So we have Dag Dag, of course, which means goodbye in The Sims. Then you have Sul Sul, which means hello. Then we have Woohoo, which I don't think that one needs to be, you know, we all know what that one means. This is my favorite one, Leave La Fee Lorve. I think it means live, laugh, love in The Sims. So yeah, definitely got to have that one in your house. And then this one, I believe is like cool, like yibs. Yibs, I think it means like cool or something like that. So again, you can go into here and download the ones that you want to have them in your game if you want some more neon signs. The other thing that you can do is always change the color of the lights as well. So if I wanted maybe a blue light, you could do that and change the dimmer on it and stuff like that. So yeah, they don't always have to be this color. So if you had a certain style you wanted to go for, they work like any other lights you can do that. So I thought that was pretty cool because I do love my neon signs in The Sims and we don't have enough neon lights in The Sims. All right, so the next one on the list, you probably saw this board thing that I have right here and you don't have to place this in your house, but this is good if you are off the grid playing or if you just are playing a historical type gameplay. This is a functional job notice board, so you don't have to use your phone. So essentially what you will do is go up to this board and click on this business. It acts as the phone icon, and then you can find odd jobs or you can find a job. So you don't have to use your phone, so you can keep up with your historical gameplay. Or if you're off the grid, you can do it this way so you're not having to use your phone. Can she not use this because it's over here? I didn't think she needed to be right up to the wall for this. I'll just put it in here. I was wondering why she wasn't going to it. I was just staring at it and I was like, why won't she go to it? I guess it can't be on an overhang. They've got to physically be able to stand in front of it. But this way she can go and get a job. And I thought this was very helpful for those of you who are doing a decades challenge or even doing a, or even doing a off the grid challenge or whatever. You might want this, you know, in your game even if you're not doing those two things. So you can have a job notice board. You will need to purchase this one, I'm pretty sure, to be able to get the options 
for that. So for this next mod, I'm super excited to show it to you. It is in early access. It comes out, I think, December 11th. But essentially, it is for my family gameplay players or if you like to play with infants or babies in The Sims. This is more so for my infant lovers in The Sims. When I saw this mod, I literally teared up because of how cute it was. So we need to get my Sim an infant ASAP so I can show you this mod. Okay, so I have our infant here and I'm gonna pause this cause I don't want my sin to do anything stupid and I just, I would like to see this mod in action. I think you go to baby care and then I think we might need to pick up Heidi, which is the name of our infant. I just want her to do this for us today. I've got, I've got time, Yvette. Do I need to get rid of this TV please? Get up and do your job. I have taken away electronics from her before and I'm not afraid to do it this time. I'm just, just go up and grab the infant, please. I beg of you. I beg of you. Okay, I'm gonna pause it now because we don't know what could happen in the span of now and when I get to what I need to find. I think you go into baby care. Here it is. Take a nap with a baby. Before I grace you with this beautiful mod that I found when I was scrolling to find mods for you today, I just want to say to The Sims, why didn't they make this an option when they put infants into our game? Okay, because this is something that I wanted for so long, the ability to have my Sims do with their infants. And thanks to modders, again, huge shout out to the creator of this mod because this mod is incredible. I'm gonna show it to you. So take nap with a baby. You can do this on your couch. You can do this on the chair. I'm hoping she goes to this chair right here, but we never know with Sims, but essentially they will go. And okay, I, I click cuddle first. So we're gonna have to wait through this interaction, but she should walk over to the closest seated. What are you doing? Oh, wait, wait, wait a minute. She's picking the infant back up. Okay, here we go. Look at this. Look at this interaction, guys. I have not played with this yet, but it just looks, look at how cute that is. And they can take a nap with their baby. So when the infants are tired, your Sims can also take a nap with them. So they don't have to just sit there holding the baby awkwardly. They can have that moment with them and I, that is just this is the cutest thing to me i don't even know what to say this is too to you are you kidding me look at this you're telling me that's not the cutest thing you've seen today like that is just precious that is too precious this mod is actually making me want to download all my mods again and start playing the sims on my personal end and not doing the videos on here but more so my personal stuff don't worry i'm still making videos on here but that is just too cute i could stare at this all day you're telling me that is not the cutest thing you've seen. That's why I said it was more so for my family game players or people that love infants because this mod is for your infants only, okay? But this is just too cute. And not only does your sim get to sleep, but their infant gets to sleep as well. And it's just such a sweet moment. Who is ruining this moment? Ava. I don't have time for that, but go ahead. Anyways, that's the mod. And you can do it also like on the couches, any like seated area you can do. So you can, you know, sleep with them in the living room. It doesn't have to be on that rocking chair. So, and then I'll just put them down wherever, or you can do whatever afterward. Look, she's so happy. She's like, I was able to get some sleep. You know, I feel refreshed. You, we know infants are a handful. You know, I've quit my game over infants before. Anyways, that's about it. I don't think I overhyped that mod at all. You guys need to download that mod immediately. But that is all that I have for you guys today, mod review wise. So thank you all so much for watching today's YouTube video. Hopefully you all enjoyed today's mod reviews, like mini mod reviews. We had a lot of small mods today, but with that being said, if you did enjoy today's video, leave a like and comment which one is your favorite down below. And if you want to see more content like this, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And if you never want to miss another YouTube video on this channel again, hit that push notifications button below and I will see you all on Monday. Although I don't know if I'm going to be live streaming or not tomorrow, so keep an eye out if I do go live. I might. We're close on completing that rebirth challenge, so. Mm -hmm.